there has been an update on Azifa for UConn women's basketball. She is out three to six weeks. Of course, this is not good news because all the injuries that have occurred, you know, the two in the preseason and then Dorka Yukaz with that thumb injury. And I think there is another player that's hurt too, like in Caroline Ducharme, but I'm not positive. I'm going to go back and see. Nope, she's, she's healthy. So they only have seven healthy players now. Seven. Yikes. Yeah. That is not really the best of news. Which kind of limits their depth now. And to explain the loss of Azzy Fudd, in seven games played, she averaged 20.6 points per game. I mean, she also gets 2.7 assists per game, too. But 20 for 47 on threes, which is 42.6%. 12 for 13 on free throws, which is 92.3%. She does commit 1.7 turnovers per game, 1.4 steals per game, and 1.3 fouls per game. So, this is not really a good thing for UConn going up, coming up here. Because it's going to start... She's definitely out. They did an MRI on Monday. I meant yesterday. So, she could very well be out till... The following games include for them. Just go for like three weeks. Just to... They don't play... They play Princeton that's 5-2. and two. I think they should beat them, but I'm not positive. They got at number 20, Maryland. That's not going to be easy. The Hall of Fame Women's Class Showcase, which is against Florida State, that's currently 9-1. Granted, I don't know who have Florida State has played, and that's in Ucansville, U Connecticut. They got a 6-3 seed and Hall team who just defeated a top 25 team at home. So, at least... Yep, that was a top 25 team in Marquette. That was number 24. So, they got number 18, Creighton, at their place. That's not going to be easy. And, like, that's just, like, that's three weeks' worth of games. But, if it's longer term, I'm going to go over this. Uh, I'll go over that. I mean, first of all, they got Marquette. At home in Marquette used to be a top 25 team remember they're not anymore but they get to host them that's not a gimme game okay Butler they you shouldn't have to worry in theory they're four and four Xavier is six and three but I don't know how good they really are that's the problem because They got DePaul that's five and three. They host them. They play St. John's, who just knocked off somebody. A top twenty-five team recently. I'm going to double check that, but I'm positive that I know that I did a video on them recently on St. John's. I know I did. They're currently undefeated, and that's even at their place. Of course, as it is as of right now. St. John's did defeat number 13, Creighton. So that's not going to be a gimme game. Georgetown, I don't know how good they really are. I know they're 5-3, and three, but that's besides the point. And six weeks from today would be January 17th. So, I just need to go to games up to then. Granted, the fall, like the 19th, that's just getting up to the 15th on the games here. But the 19th, they have Seton Hall at Seton Hall and... 
So you're gonna have to play Seton Hall twice in that stretch. Mm, 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 mm. That's not good news. But granted, Seton Hall's second meeting with them um, for UConn women's basketball could be with as he fud back. It could be. But that's is that is if it is six weeks. Granted, it could take longer, like a little bit longer than that, but definitely at least three weeks. I would think at least three weeks. So that's just an update and kind of the rundown of the schedule here. And right now they don't have a lot of depth. That's a problem. So you can't afford foul trouble <laughs> at all. You just really, really can't. It's just an unfortunate thing. If you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. It's going to point to subscribers and more by the end of this year, sometime in the future. And yes, I did realize I did that upset for UConn wins basketball without mentioning Azzy Fudd's injury. This makes up for it. For one, I know what it is. I mean, how long it is. And two, I didn't realize that at the time. So, please. And three, I mentioned that in a prior video on my top ten for Division One women's basketball. I mentioned that, but I just didn't know what the update was. So now I know, and everyone knows. So, relax.